Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Joseph Williams here at Jaws Fitness. Just playing with my recent pickup from the thrift store. It is obviously a preach curl bench. Only paid like 15 bucks for it, so it's kind of sweet. So today we're going to be talking about muscle size and how to get bigger and what you can do as a natural bodybuilder or just a natural athlete in general and how you can get bigger and stronger. All the pain. Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Williams at Jaws Fitness. Please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And let's get talking about today's subject. You might ask me, why is it, Joseph, that on a Saturday night at 10, 15, yeah, 10, 14 p.m., are you doing arms? And, you know, honestly, I kind of want to say every day is arm day, but then I would be representing somebody else in the fitness industry. But what I do want to say is that for as long as I can remember, I've been obsessed with getting bigger. And I think it was because I got picked on as a middle schooler or something like that. I don't know. But really though, when, when we talk about uh, training and getting bigger with training, uh, my mind first reverts back to January, February of 2017. I'm sitting in my kinesiology class and Dr. Lex Gidley, PhD in biomechanics, says something that stuck with me. And I almost became obsessed with finding out more information about what she said. And she said that muscle atrophy, atrophy being, being the wasting away of uh, a body tissue or a muscle in this case, muscle atrophy can begin within 48 to 72 hours after you have exercised that particular muscle. Now we're not talking a great deal of atrophy, we're just talking small, minor, basically the beginnings of your muscle not progressing. Uh, so I, I immediately raised my hand in class. I'm like, so what you're saying is you should be doing leg day more than once a week. And she laughed. She thought it was funny. She knows me. I'm a gym goer. She's like, yeah, absolutely. freaking lutely You should be exercising your legs at least two to three times a week. Me, I'm a big time leg guy. I've always done my leg days at least two to three times a week since I can remember. So <clears throat> that wasn't really what I was concerned with though. I was concerned with my problem areas, such as my biceps, my chest, the things that most people don't have a problem with, I seem to have a problem with because uh, I've always been a field athlete, not necessarily a stage athlete. Uh, now that I'm, I'm pushing towards getting on uh, something like on the stage, uh, you can't help but wonder how can somebody that is natural get bigger faster. And this this thought of atrophy can start within 48 to 72 hours kind of stuck with me. Now, going into some research with uh, Dr. Mike Isretel, uh, one of the things that, that he states is that with bigger muscle groups, they stop growing after 48 to 72 hours. Almost kind of the same thing as saying starts atrophying in 48 to 72 hours. But the cool thing that he said that was different than what Dr. Gidley said was smaller muscle groups stop growing after about 36 hours. So that just leads you to think that, okay, you can technically work your smaller muscle groups more often than your bigger muscle groups. Your biceps is a smaller muscle group uh, as compared to your, your quads or your lats or something like that. So that just brings you into thinking, okay, uh, maybe, you know, that one guy was onto something every day is arm day, but it goes further into that guy. So basically, let's say you do have a weaker or a smaller muscle group. One thing that could possibly be going on is that there aren't enough nerves stimulating those muscles. It's not really your fault. It's kind of a genetic thing, but you can change this. And the way you change it is by stimulating that muscle more and more and more. And when you do that, your body has no other response but to bring in more nerves to that area. So basically, it will help it grow by doing more work. Now, that leads me into uh, some additional studies. There have been studies from 1990 all the way up to 2016 on hypertrophy. And a lot of them are gonna focus on, on diet and nutrition. And I could talk all day about diet and nutrition when it comes to uh, gaining size, especially for a natural builder. But today we're specifically talking about training. One of the other studies that was done by Brad Schoenfeld, I could be mispronouncing his name, I'm not sure, uh, is that exercising twice per week 
was more effective at hypertrophy than once per week. The same goes with gaining muscle strength. Working the same muscle group three times a week was more effective than exercising the muscle group once per week. This being said, we can put all of these studies together and start to conclude what is the best way to work our, our body. Well, you should be hitting your major muscle groups. I'm talking about the major muscle groups that are worked during compound movements like a deadlift, a squat, a bench press. You should be working major muscle groups like that at least two to three times per week. And as far as your smaller muscle groups, you can be working those anywhere from three to five times a week. Now that might seem like a lot. And when we talk about every day being arm day, it doesn't mean that you go absolutely ham every single arm day or every single day, period. See, look at this. I got a 10 on each side and the bar weighs 25. So we're talking 45 pounds here. Uh, and those collars are heavier than normal collars. So let's say I've got like 48 pounds here. That's not a lot of weight, especially for two arms. But the idea is not to send those muscle groups to full exhaustion. The idea is just to stimulate their use so that way the body can adapt and that way it can grow. Now, I'll be sure to make a video about gaining size with nutrition. Like I said, today's just completely focused on training itself. I may start doing a lot more of these sessions from the Preacher Curl. It seems like a pretty good seat. Gives me something to lean on. It's a lot better than the table that I normally use to talk to you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. You can also download my free ebook, or if you're interested in online training, that is available now as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever your source of social media is. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time, and let's get fit together.